a lot of spiritual work has been done recently, kind of normalizing more difficult emotions from a mindfulness lens, like anger, uh, like it's okay to actually experience anger or anxiety. But I think jealousy, a lot of times we don't like to talk about. And when we're talking about our longing or our hope for success in the world, jealousy is going to, and envy is going to come up. And so sympathetic joy is the classic Buddhist meditation contemplation for working specifically with overcoming envy, right? So we notice those moments where somebody else succeeds around us. And rather than feeling like, awesome, you know, you got the best seller, you got the X, you got the Y, there's a moment of like crumpling, which is such a weird experience when you actually think about it. Like somebody you somebody else is having a good experience and you are mad basically and sad and grieving when somebody else is having a good experience. And, and there's really a quality of kind of scarcity there as well. And it, it, you know, it can get to kind of comic takes where you literally can walk down the street and if somebody looks happy, you can be mad at them. So sympathetic joy is a set of practices for noticing when we're in the realm of wanting success, how we can actually feel less than we can both feel really bad about ourselves and also step on the joy or happiness of somebody else's success, and actually practice cultivating, wishing them that, that their success brings them joy and happiness as a way to work with uh, envy and jealousy. It's, it's a way to actually realize that another person's joy and happiness does not take away from ours.